Hello. Hi everyone. Hello Facebook, Instagram. Welcome to class. It's Wednesday night and I'm here all by myself still. I'm still getting used to my solo teaching. <laughs> I'll get there. So I'm really happy you're here. It's been quite the day and I'm excited to show you. Uh, it's a mini class tonight because tonight is a little bit of a time crunch. So we're going to do a mini class on strong, beautiful hands. We'll do some toning, some strength, some coordination, some movement, just to get you in touch with your hands again. Not even so much arm technique, but just the hands, because they're so important. You know, when you're practicing and trying to learn to dance, we get all kinds of, we get the claw, we get, you know, the, the knotted up fingers, we get the contracted, it's just, it's just, hands are really tricky. So I thought we'd spend a little bit of time on those. So first of all, go ahead and check in and let me see who's here. All right, so we've got Abby, Susan, Barbara. Okay, this is awesome. And yes, all right, we're on Instagram. I can see myself on Facebook. So this is very good. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna get some music going and we will just dive right into our hands and uh, see how it goes. We're listening to Angelica tonight. Beautiful, beautiful music. I played it last time, and I really love this CD. But let's see if it's going to play. There it is. All right. I'm going to go on. All right. There we go. All right. So starting with shaking the hands. So we're going to shake them out. Let's see if we've got Heather. Oh, good. Okay. Good. Welcome, welcome. Shake, shake, shake. We're just going to deal with the hands. Kind of a specialty class. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Press the palm all the way up. So you want it all the way down as far as you can go and all the way up. Keep your fingers straight. And you'll feel this in your forearms. All right, circle, circle. Okay, circle and reverse. Try to leave your arms more still. So just the hands move. So we don't have so much of the arm going. All right, shake it again. Get some energy in there. <laughs> all right, open, close, open, close. Palms face down, open all the way. Slay your fingers as far as you can and then close really tight and make a fist. Open, close, open, close. Open and close. That's it. Same thing now, palms up, open and close, hey Nikki, open and close, squeeze hard, open wide and close, good, alright, shake it out, just that little bit and you can feel it, it's a good feeling though. Strengthen the hands. All right, so pretend you have weights, right? This is another um, toning exercise. So hold your weights. I would say five pounds, maybe eight pounds if you're used to it, but nothing more than that, right? So your hands are down, you're holding your weights, and you're gonna curl your wrist. Curl, and guess what these are called? Wrist curls. One and two. And you can do it without the weights. I'm doing it without the weights, but it's a little more effective if you just curl a little bit of weight. It helps to strengthen your forearms and your hands. The strength of your hands is connected to the strength of your forearms. So it's important that you have strong arms, even though we're concentrating more on hands. Good. 
All right, now keep a fist, turn your hands outward and roll your fist around. Roll, especially right here. Oh, 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 so good. The, the top of your forearm, it's like a big, long stretch. So make a circle with a tight fist. Squeeze the fist and circle all the way around. Oh, that feels good. And switch directions. These are all great warm-ups and they do build strength as well. There we go. And shake them out again. All right. Now, just a little coordination. Open your palms and then outside to inside, thumb. Out to in, thumb. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Try to have them follow each other. One, two, three, four, five. Close the thumb. One, two, three, four, five, and curl. Curl it closed, closed, closed. Yes. Good. Same thing. Roll it over. Pull in. Woo! There's the underarm. One, two, three, four, five. Baby finger first. And curl it in closed, tight fist. Close your thumb. Close your thumb around the outside of your fist. Roll it in, squeeze, squeeze. There we go, oh yes. Good, shake it out. Just showing you a lot of different things to warm up your hands, so it's kind of fun. Now shake them sideways. Some energy in there. All right, thumbs up. Baby finger, now same idea that we did, but we're going to roll it. Baby finger to the index finger to the thumb and then flip. So you're doing a circle with the hand. Turn it over, baby finger to thumb and flip. So you do your strengthening, your warm ups, your little weight curls, wrist curls first. Then you start moving with the hands. Allow your arms to relax. And roll, and roll, good. Just roll it over. It always reminds me of a bird of paradise flower. Right, isn't that pretty? Little bird of paradise. All right, now thumb first. Thumb index ending with the baby finger. So you're going to come inside to outside and forward, turn and roll. Keep your hands right next to each other. One, two, three, four, five. Let it spill over the top. Thumb through baby finger. That's it. Thumb through baby finger. Nice. There we are. Good. It looks really pretty, I can tell. All right, relax it. Good, good, good. Now, any of these things that I show you, you can always do them in different positions. So we'll just kind of do a quickie since this is a mini class tonight, but I'll just show you. So let's say the open and the close or the rolling, so we just did it right here, but let's just say you're trying to get yourself in a training mode and really build your endurance and your technique. So out to the side, second position, roll in and in. Side, four to the floor, other side. 
So you can do these in all your arm positions. And I, oh yeah, I feel it already. This is also a warm up when I teach the Zills class. We do a lot of these same moves. And then, man, you play Zills like crazy. Your hands get so strong and happy. But right now we'll apply it to our dance. All right, so we have our open close. We have our bird of paradise flower, both directions. We have our fist circles, which I really like, all right? So now, let's try the hand circle. So, turn your hands back to back. Lead with your thumbs, right? And you're going to go down, around, and over the top. So, outside, down, around, and over the top. So, it's the bird of paradise when you started with the baby, the, the index finger coming up over the top, right? But we are just making this whole beautiful circle with the whole hand. Lead with your thumb, go around the outside, down, in, up, and over. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm going to say hi. Hello, Kathleen. Oh my goodness, how fun is this? Now where did everybody go? All right, there you are. This is a cool little thing that I can wave. I didn't know I could do that. But now it disappeared. Oh, there's one. And there's another one. Oh, hi, Miriam. <laughs> when you hit it, it disappears. So that's interesting. That's interesting. All right, roll it around. And around, and around, and around. Nice big circles, make them strong. Now reverse, baby finger around and around. So bring it in, curve it around and out. In, around, and out. Yes, that's it. Good, 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 good. That's it, good, beautiful. Make it strong. So the thing that I see with hands is, okay, we're going through the motions, but the tension, there's a tension that has to be there. It's strength, but it's also tension, right? So when you are moving your hands and you're circling and rolling, you want to have the maximum extension. So you can have your hand like this, right? Or you can add more energy, watch. It arches a little bit, and I'm not trying to arch it on purpose. I'm just, I'm putting the energy through my fingertips and pushing it out through my fingertips. And here's I'm just holding, right, neutral, and then here's the energy going up through the fingers. The hand gets longer, stronger, and more firm. So when I do the circles, I am just as far as I can go. So the hands are really not like they're not ever just relaxing, right? They are working. So I want you to put more energy into it, especially here, because people very often curl the fingers and then just flip under, like so. And it gets too, too soft, right? Hands need to be strong and graceful, and they need to have a lot of power because they tell a story, they create emotion. They frame your body. They help accent your movement. They have a big job, right? Hands and arms are also very emotional. They're tied into your emotions. So when you're nervous, it shows in your hands. When you're insecure, it shows in your hands. When you're confident and feeling like you're having the best time in the world, it shows in your hands, okay? So part of it is techniques that we're doing right now. Part of it, is fake it till you make it. <laughs> Smile whether you're happy or not. Tell yourself jokes, be stupid, be funny. Whether you really feel that way or not, your body will catch up. <laughs> I, I promise, it will catch up. So as you do things, just start to pretend. All right, I'm happy, I'm having the best time. It's easy for me because I really am having the best time ever. You put me dancing and I'm, I'm in my space. This is where I want to be, right? This is what I want to do all the time. So, I'm good. But when you're first learning, maybe it's not that way. Or maybe you're just not in the mood, you know? It doesn't matter. Just put yourself there. Add your strength. All right, hands parallel. Now, this is a tricky part. Actually, let's go this way. 
So, well, no. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. We're gonna go this way. All right, so what we're gonna do is learn a little more technique for the hand wave, right? And that's always the tricky one. It needs to look liquid and it needs to look like water. And it looks soft, it's not soft. If you were to feel my hand during this time, right, while I'm doing this, there is nothing soft, it's not, it's not soft at all. It is firm and tight and strong and almost shaking. There's so much tension in my hand to create that movement. But you don't, you see graceful, right, hopefully, and it comes from strength. So, you're going to arch and contract your hand first thing. Arch it, contract, arch, contract. The body loves to work together with two sides, so do both hands together so that they can learn. So you're making an hourglass shape, and now you're making a diamond. Hourglass, diamond. Hourglass, diamond. All right, and I say that because if you notice, my fingers do not come up and down. It's very often what happens when we lift the middle of our hand to make that diamond shape, the fingers fold. And we don't want them to fold. We want them to still point upward. We're just moving the middle knuckle of the hand away to create a diamond. And now we're moving the middle knuckle in to create an hourglass. Then there's a bend right here, all right? In the middle of your fingers. So we have the middle of the hand. Now, the middle of the fingers. So it's this middle knuckle. You've got your, your knuckle here connecting your finger to your hand and then you've got one, two, and the end. It's that first big one. Bend that one. So you look, like we call this a little cat's paw, right? You've got this little bend, but everything else is reasonably straight. Just bend right there. So you're gonna go diamond, cat's paw, <laughs> extend, right? Diamond, cat's paw, extend. And we start hourglass, diamond, cat's, and extend. So hourglass, diamond, cat's paw, extend. <laughs> That's a lot to say. One, two, three, extend. One, two, three, extend. So arch in, arch out, arch the fingers, and extend. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's tricky, right? One, two, but it's not so bad if you break it down. One, two, three, four. One, two, now try to wave. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now add a little bit of distance with a little float of the wrist. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In, out, cat's paw. In, out, cat's paw. Good. So arch, contract, and through the fingertips. Go high. Bring it down. Nice. Open. Open. To the side. Beautiful. All right, let it rest. Now, when you do that, you're gonna feel energy like crazy. Right now, my paws are buzzing. They're just, they're so full of energy because I've been pushing so hard, putting so much energy in there. So it's supposed to feel that way. It's a good feeling, right? We like that feeling. All right, shake them out. All right, let's try that again. And then we'll combine it with the um, hand circle. So start up, good position. Wave, two, three, raise your elbows. Now circle, one, open, two, three, four, take it down, one, two, three, four, now wave, down by the hip, up, up, and then you get to a point, you just, ah, I can't, it, 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 it doesn't work, right, so you change it, so your vertical, now change it horizontal, you can take it to one side, you can take it up, so the palms works best when they are vertical, 
They don't have to be facing each other, but they like to face each other. I'm just taking you around, around the track. So palms in, up, up, side. Put the palms down, way, and take it around, round. Now, hands are full either way. Roll, roll, roll. And open, and then relax and float down. Okay, so where do we use these hands? Anywhere we want, <laughs> right? But you have positions that you can have your hands in, and you can be floating your hands, or you can be circling. For example, let's just do a very simple Ami. So, a little tiny Ami, just a simple one. Add a hand circle. Now, tip is, don't make them the same tempo. Don't go one, two, <laughs> where they're on the same tempo, right? Do them at different tempos. So, for example, one circle of the hands, two of the hips. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see what I mean? So, your hands are half the time. The hands should be in tempo or a little slower, right? Because they're, they're an accent piece. They're not supposed to be dancing at the same time. It doesn't look as good. All right, so on me the other way. Now try your hands the other way. Circle and circle and circle and circle.
that I will not be having class Saturday. I have to go where I was going to just teach the class where I was, but there's not going to be any internet. So we'll we'll skip on Saturday, and I'll see you again on Wednesday. But practice, practice your beautiful arms and hands. Mine just feel really tired right now. <laughs> it's a good feeling, though. I like to feel tired. It feels like we've done something. So thanks again for joining me. Um, I'll see you next week. And uh, let's see, tomorrow, tomorrow's a 10th. So the belly dance series is starting. If you're a beginner and you want to have a little more personal attention on Zoom, um, send me a message or send me a post, and I'll hook you up for a class tomorrow. It's a afternoon class from 4.10 to 5.20, and it's a nice small group, so you get lots of attention and you do lots of technique, and it's a beginning level, so happy to have you join that one. In the meantime, check out my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure that you like and this video, comment, share, all those things, right? All those social, social media duties that you have. So I will see you very soon. Thanks again. Have a great night. And I'll see you.